Hey guys, what's up? This is White Boy for the win, and welcome back to Why Mega Evolved. Now, earlier last week we talked about Mega Haxorus, and today we're going to be talking about Mega Ursaring. But before we get started, let me just give you guys a brief explanation of what this series is about. Now, every week I will be picking three Pokemon that either need a Mega Evolution, deserve a Mega Evolution, or want a Mega Evolution for. Now, this is based off my opinion, my opinion alone, and no one else's. Now, if you guys do not like my opinion, then please post your own opinions in the comment section down below about what would you keep, what would you change, and etc. And at the end of the video, I will be telling you guys which Pokemon we're going to be talking about the following day. So with that said, here is Mega Ursaring. Now, a couple months back, I told you guys I was going to be taking um, a couple of months off from recording. And that only lasted about a week. And when I told you guys I was going to be taking the break off, um, the next Pokemon I was supposed to be doing for my Y Mega Evolve series was Ursaring. And I knew that I was going to have to do Ursaring sooner or later, and I put him off. So what better time to do it than now? So Ursaring is just one of those Pokemon where it's... It, needs a mega evolution but at the same time it really doesn't because it's already at a low tier i believe it's in the nu are you one of those two tiers and the only thing going for him is it's attack stat because what you usually do is that you run um an adam in nature and or a jolly nature earth ring with the toxic orb or flame orb and you're pretty much good to go right there because that's the only thing going for earth because it does get the guts ability and it also does get the quick feed ability now the only thing that, that it's like it's making this thing not a very good pokemon for like a higher tier is its speed stat because at base 55 this thing ain't going to be as um be fast to outspeed other pokemon and this thing is very frail and is weak to um fighting this thing is not going to be able to live a brick break or like a close combat from anything so um i understand why it's in the low tier but um, even with the quick feed ability, if you don't know what that ability does, basically if you're inflicted with a status inflictment, like either being burnt or being toxic or even being paralyzed, your speed is increased by 1.5. So that's equal to having a choice scarf on. So um, that's the only thing that's pretty much good for, I would say, Ursaring. But um, as you can tell from what I did to its stats, I did increase everything. And yes, I messed up on its special defense. Um, it is at base 75 before Mega Evolve, so I'll get to that in a sec. But um, anyways, I just let me just start with its stats. Now for its physical attack, um, I increased it from base 130 to base 150. Um, I think this thing did need an increase in its physical attack but it's not needed plus i wanted this thing to have a sky high attack and be on par with a uh, mega beedrill even though mega beedrill is going to be outspeeding this thing regardless and taking this thing out with like a poison jab but i wanted this thing to be on par for its physical attack as well um for a special attack i decided to leave it alone at base 75 because you never run a special attacking earth string and i decided to just leave it alone at base 75 because you never really know you you might see some people who run like maybe a focus blast earth string trust me i've seen it before and it's base 75 is actually not half bad because i um a regular altaria before it got the mega evolution i believe had like base 70 in both both of its um physical and special attack so base 75 isn't a half bad um for both of its defenses i increased it from base 75 to base 100 and like i was saying its special defense is supposed to be at base 75 but i forgot to put that in so i apologize on that but like i was saying i wanted to give this thing a good increase into its both of its defenses as well from base 75 to base 100 that way you could try to maybe i would say run a like a a physical wall mega earth ring or a special wall mega earth ring but it's not that it's going to be able to live regardless of what, of what kind of build you're going to be able to make with this thing because it is weak to uh, fighting that is the downside about it because fighting is one of those most common um types to use in competitive battle but you never know you might be able to live it just depends on your ev spreads and ivs and stuff like that but at base 100 um it's bulkier than base 75 i can tell you that much and who knows you might be able to live. Um, now, the last stat I increased was its speed from base 55 to base 85. I wanted to give a huge chunk into its speed as well, just because it needs it like desperately. Because <clears throat> um, at base 85, um, it does outspeed a Dragonite without like a Dragon Dance up or anything, because Dragonite does have, I believe, a base um, 80 speed. But if I'm wrong, uh, I'm probably getting Gyarados and uh, Dragonite speed mixed up. So I apologize about that, but at base 85, it's not that you really need um, 
any uh, like I would say that base 85 is okay, but it does outspeed some of the metagame. Like I would say like either Garador, wow, Garador, Gyarados or Dragonite, but um, base 85 is pretty good. <laughs> okay, so now for its base stat, um, as a regular Earth Ring is at base 500, which is okay. Um, and with the Mega Evolution is at base 600, so I would say it's like a pseudo legend at that point. But um, for its ability, I decided to give this thing scrappy instead of like maybe Quick Feet or Guts, just because um, it's more fitting for its image. It's not necessarily that, that it needs it because we already have a Pokemon, or should I say a Mega Pokemon with Scrappy, which is Lop Bunny. But let's be honest, um, in comparison, not comparison, um, what's that word? Perspective. If you look through it like perspective, you wouldn't see a rabbit like hitting ghosts, but I can see a bear swinging its arms in rage hitting a ghost type Pokemon. So Scrappy is, I would say, like a good ability for it, but you can't or it can get like quick feet i'm hoping that it gets quick feet with base 150 attack because then that way you can run it at him in nature um hopefully like in doubles this thing could work but who knows but i know in, in hackmon um you can run it at him in nature with uh the flame orb or toxic orb with the uh, quick feet ability with, and you're pretty much set to go now for its typing i decided to add the fighting type characteristics because um, I don't know why they didn't add the fighting type characteristics to begin with when it evolves from a Teddy Ursa to an Ursa and I think it just seems more fitting to just making this thing a normal type or at least give it a different or an additional typing as well so um, fighting type characteristics for Mega Ursa Ring does fit its image as well but I was thinking about making this thing normal dark but then that thing is going to just be um, weak to uh, four times weight to fairy no, not four times a week to fairy. Uh, four times a week to fighting is going to be two times a week to fairy, psychic, and stuff like that. So, um, normal fighting, I would say, is a good typing for. So, basically, it's just, I wouldn't say a better version of Lopany, but it's a, um, a weaker version, per se. But you kind of go what I'm going with. So, with that said... There is Mega Ursing. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this Why Mega Evolve video. If you don't, um, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Go and check out some of my old Why Mega Evolve videos. My most popular one is my Mega Raichu video that already passed 7K views. So, thank you guys so much for checking that out. Let's try to get that video to 8K. Um, go and check out some of my old moveset videos. A lot of people really do like those. And also, my team review videos. I just uploaded. Uh, not just uploaded. Um, I uploaded a mega slow bro team so if you're looking for a mega slow bro team to build then you can go check that out um tomorrow i will have a new team review up which is going to be around mega sableye so tomorrow don't forget to check that out from when i'm recording this so like i said this is white boy for the win like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys later oh i forgot um tuesday we're gonna be talking about mega uh gramble okay Mega Gramble. I've been wanting to talk about Mega Gramble for a while, and now that I actually have the chance to, I'm going to. So, like I was saying, this is White Boy for the win. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.